Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be building an outdoor gym. It's a brand new year and with all the holidays that have passed, this is the perfect time to start getting more in shape. And my plan is to make this year a little healthier than the last. Plus my wife says I'm getting a little fat. Just kidding. But in all honesty, I could be in better shape and I want to be. So I'm going to be building this outside behind our house down in the woods. And I'm doing this outside for a few reasons. You may not have a ton of space like I do. So outdoors is a great option. If you have any property behind your house, you can easily build one of these. It doesn't take up much space. And I love to get outdoors as much as possible, get some fresh air and some exercise. So this is a great way to do that and really easy, convenient, right at home. You don't have to go to the gym or anything. Now the main structure is going to be built out of 4x6s, they're 12 feet long and I'm going to be burying these in the ground with concrete up to 4 feet. 3 to 4 feet should be plenty for this and that will give me 8 to 9 feet above the ground for the chin up bar and the ladder and a few other features that I'm going to be putting on this. So we're going to be filling this up, each hole is going to take 4 to 5 bags of concrete and that's going to stabilize this really well. Now if you're in northern regions where the frost goes deeper than four feet, you may want to consider going deeper than that, at least to meet or go past that frost line so that the frost doesn't end up pushing these out of the ground and messing it up. I don't have to worry about frost where I'm at, so three to four feet is plenty. All I need is enough space to stabilize the post. Now we're going to start with three posts on one side, those are all 12 footers. The one on the right is going to be a chin up bar, the one on the left is going to be a ladder. I'm also going to be burying two 4x6s that are 6 feet long, 6 feet away from the ladder. That will have some horizontal bars going across that I can use as well. Good job. Now these two posts don't come out of the ground nearly as far so they don't need as much depth to stabilize them. So I'm going to go down about two feet and that will be perfectly fine for the six foot post. So I'll have four feet above the ground still to work with. I'll also be using two to three bags of concrete for each of these holes to anchor that to the ground. I don't want uh, people to uh, fall in deep, deep, deep. Boys. You don't want them to? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would be this, good. And they will never get out of that hole. But that hole is way deep. Yeah. Deep, 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 deep. It definitely slows things down a little bit to have Gemma working with me, but it's so much fun. I love having her there helping me out with this and teaching her how I'm doing this as well. She's such a hard worker and loves working with her dad, so I'm definitely going to take advantage of that as long as it lasts. Your pants, hands are getting cold? Yeah, but it's okay. I can't handle it. You hey, can handle Daddy, it? my turn now. Okay, your turn now. Well, I need you to use it up. You want to try this one? I'll help you. No, I'm, Ready? I'm, I'm you I'm stick it down too. in. And I'm, watch, you grab it. Look. Take your hands and you squeeze like this. Oh. Spread it and then lift up. Good job. You got the dirt out. I know, you were doing it. All right, spread it. Lift it up. There. Spread it. Lift it up. Wow, good job.
Once I filled the holes with concrete, I'm just immediately gonna put some soil on top. I'm not gonna pack this in or mix it in with the concrete at all. This will just help stabilize the post a little bit while it dries. I'm not gonna touch this at all. I'm just gonna leave this a couple days to dry until that concrete has fully hardened. I'm building this gym on a slight hill, so I'm gonna use all that leftover dirt to just level out this area that I'm in. The bars that I'm using for this I purchased at Lowe's. It actually is meant for chain link fence, the horizontal bar that goes across the top holding the chain link fence up. It's definitely strong enough to support my weight and a lot more, So, and they're pretty reasonably priced and easy to come by. Now they also sell them in long enough sections too for the gym that I needed. I needed sections that were 7 feet long and sections that were 6, so this will work perfect. To mount the pipes on the post, I'm going to drill a hole straight through the 4x6s that the pipe can fit into and that will hold it in place. The pipe that I'm using is almost 2 inches in diameter, so when I'm drilling a 2 inch hole or just about 2 inch hole through the 4x6s, it's really important that you don't drill through the 4 inch side. So I purposefully set these up so that the 6 inch section are, is facing each other. That way when I drill through it, it's going to leave 2 inches on either side of the hole left over. Now if I had those turned and you're drilling through the 4 inch section, it's going to drill all the way through leaving only 1 inch of 4 by 6 on either side of that hole, severely weakening the strength of the posts. So it's important to make sure that you're not drilling too much out of the board or else you're going to weaken it. This section on top was the seven foot section I mentioned before. This is a chin up bar on the right and then on the left is gonna be a ladder. So I'm gonna mark out every 16 inches and put a bar in place to create that ladder on the left side. When I'm drilling these holes out, I'm gonna drill all the way through the left post and then on the right post, I'm only drilling halfway through that. It doesn't need to be all the way through, just halfway through is plenty to hold it in place and give it the strength it needs. Now you want a drill bit that fits the pipe that you're using. If it's a little tight, you're gonna have to tap on it with a hammer to get it to go in place. If it's too loose, it's gonna flop around. So I'm actually gonna be using a screw to anchor each of these pipes in place. This is a self-tapping screw. It'll drill through the metal on its own and tighten it down to the wood. Keep it from rotating. If you're trying to hold on to a chin-up bar that rotates, it's gonna be very frustrating. So I'm gonna lock all these together with those screws. Now the two shorter posts are going to have horizontal bars connecting to the ladder. This is six feet away from the ladder, so I have a six foot section pipe for each post. And I'm going to have this three and a half feet off of the ground. This really depends on your height, what seems comfortable for you. Dad? Yeah? Are you cold? I'll be a little cold, but I can handle it. Just as long as you're nice and warm, I'm good. You nice and warm? Mm -hmm. Okay, good job. I already mentioned to be careful about drilling into the four inch side of the posts. It takes away too much strength, but I'm only gonna be drilling halfway through these posts and they don't have anything above it that it's supporting, so it's not taking away any of the strength for the shorter ones. Let's see which is level. Don't go on it. Can you hand me the orange thing over there? That's the level. Yep. Okay. And I will do it too. Good job. Okay, I will do it too, Dad. Okay. On the latter side, I'm not going to drill very far into this 4x6 at all. I'll only go in about an inch, and then I'm going to take a 2x4 and screw that onto the face of this 4x6 and drill the hole through that. So I'll give it a little bit more strength, a little more area to anchor to that 4x6 and that will tie everything together. You can see the 2x4 sections that I'm using aren't very long, they don't have to be, just enough to go around that pipe and have some space to put several screws into the 4x6 and hold it in place. Now that pipe is not coming out, but I'm also gonna add in a few self-tapping screws to hold this from rotating around or sliding back and forth a little bit. 
That just about finishes up the video for today. I'm gonna test it out real quick, make sure everything stays in place. But there really are a ton of options for a gym like this. You can do a lot of different exercises. I'm not an expert in this. If you want to know more on how to exercise with a gym like this one, go check that out on a different YouTube channel. Someone that deals more with fitness, they will have a lot more examples for you to follow. Thanks guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video if you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear from you guys. Also, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon. You guys are amazing. Super thankful for you guys. You help make videos like this possible. And it's very encouraging to know there's other people out there that want to help support what this channel is doing. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.